There's times you, uh, you sit back and you think, where you was at two years ago? Well, two years ago, I was in path fork under the ground somewhere working. All of my family's coal miners. I'm a fifth generation coal miner, so that's kind of, you know, uh, old family tradition. Never thought that I would be in school. Well, I was uh, recently laid off in the coal mines. I was needing to find another way to, you know, start a new career, find a new job. And I know that going to school, you know, would be the best option for me to do that. I uh, first came to Southeast right after I graduated high school. I didn't have maybe the highest GPA in, in, in high school. And so coming here, I was able to fix all those mistakes and uh, better my career for the future. If I can do it, I know anybody can. And that's just as plain as I could put it. Yeah, I'm getting A's. And it, it blows my mind, you know, at times, because I'm like, how could I not do this in school? Well, I didn't go come here straight out of high school. I went to the University of Kentucky first for four years, and then I came here. UK, I feel like I was really young when I went to UK, so I had no idea what I wanted to do. I graduated with a degree that's hard to find a job in here close to home. Just being around my family and having the chance to be with them is really important. I chose Southeast because it seemed like the best fit. I was looking for something with a smaller class ratio. I learned more than I have ever learned in my educational years at Southeast. I just like learning. And that's saying something for something I did not used to enjoy learning. I was a kid, you know, like all kids, distracted. Didn't, uh, did not want to be in school. I actually went to college for about six months before I joined the military and I dropped out my first semester and then went and joined the military because I didn't, it just didn't, just didn't suit me. I was in the Marines for uh, five years and then got out for a while, did some wandering around. It certainly does now. I love being here. I started t Skaggs Creek Woodshop in 2008. When you're running your own business, you can't know everything. You have to, to have the ability to adapt and to learn something and pick it up. You know, when I was sitting in a Latin American literature class, sitting there wondering how I was going to, you know, how I was going to use this out in the field, uh, it was almost as I was sitting there, an 18, 19 year old kid. It was almost like they were tricking me. <laughs> they were teaching me how to learn by make, by taking that class. Uh, you know, I had to learn something that I wasn't really interested in. But, but that, that skill set that I learned in that short period of time has helped me, you know, learn something that I don't really want to learn pertaining to the business. Anatomy, one of my favorite classes. I don't plan on doing anything in that field, in, in the medical field or anything, but just learning that, just have more knowledge, just more knowledge, man. You know, understanding how I work a little better and stuff like that. It's because I'm bettering myself. And that feels good. It's as simple as that. When you get stuck in a rut or something and you stay where you are, which is where I was, if I'd have stayed there mentally, I don't know where I'd be right now. And that matters. You know, your mental capacity is kind of what carries you through this, this world. I'm in this program because I want to help people. Not only that is because I want to have a secure job and I want to have things that my parents didn't have. I don't, I don't have much. I am technically homeless right now. My aunt has been kind enough to give me a place to lay my head at night. I learned to accept it so I could move on. I just, I thought I felt my calling in life. My classmates, we've become basically like one little bit of family and our instructor is like our mom. So I don't... It's really hard for parents to go to school 
you know, because not only do you have the stress of uh, being a student, but you have these kids that are watching you. They are so proud of me. And any time that I fail at something, I show them that I, that I have. And it's not out of being proud of it, it's I wanna show them that even if you fail at something or you're horrible at something, you gotta work at it. You know, you gotta study, you gotta do better. The way I look at it is if I keep failing and keep failing, I gotta fall forward. You know, keep falling forward. And eventually I'll get there. I had somebody to be like, hey, I've been there, you know, and you can do this. And that's honestly what makes Southeast so great is because, you know, there's these teachers and professors have been where we are at, have been where we're at, and they want to share that story with you. They want to motivate you and to make you see and realize that you're not, the, you're not alone. You know, you're not the only ones that's been there and done that. I've got you. We can do this together. Like, that's what makes it great. My one mentor at Southeast Community College, he believed in me, he saw something in me that I didn't even see in myself, and he had the conviction to tell me about it and to just tell me that I could do it. And that's all it took. And I was, from that point forward, I was pre-med. I've not met a bunch of people in my life that was better than what I've met here at Southeast. They actually care they actually care about you. And they'll go the extra mile to, to make sure you get that education. Caring, that's a, that's a good word, because you don't find that a lot. But they were genuinely interested to see me continue kind of thing. Having people that you know are there, who if you don't show up one day, they care. And they wonder, I wonder where this person is. Something as simple as that. I wouldn't be the person that I am today without Southeast. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be who I am without Mr. Simpson, you know, Miss Barracks, Miss Cloud, Dr. Omar, Rebecca, you know, Mr. Markham, all of them. I would not be even just the person that I am. But without Southeast, I wouldn't be able to make the money that I'm going to make anywhere else. I really don't believe that. Southeast required us to have a preceptor in the field that we wanted to pursue after we finished our nursing degree. So through that program, I was able to land a job right after. I don't think there's one student that I graduated with who doesn't have a job right now. Yeah, I've, I've had uh two job offers uh, since I've started, and uh, uh, man, I, I'm ecstatic about that. The day we come back from passing boards, we could all have a job. That's what appealed to me, is being able to get a good education, get a good job, and still be home. Sometimes it seems it's, it's a dream that, that I'm chasing this. You know, it just don't seem real at times. Sure don't. Aspire to be everything that you have in you. Let everything in you come out. And never 
ever stop. Just don't stop growing, don't stop seeking. Um, follow your passion. Because I chose Southeast. 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 Because I chose Southeast.